Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Carissa and my husband's name is Ethan. He is upstairs sleeping. He a bum. because they gross um i have to go to the store after and then ethan's supposed to be getting his hair cut today but it's noon and he's still sleeping so i have no idea and also i wanted to give you guys a little update on mossy let's just say she's doing really good we will get more into that later i did do a little experiment with my hair obviously i curl my hair all the time but I haven't been able to do anything with my hair since getting it cut because everything that's been going on. So I did just curl it. The curls are kind of falling out, but I kind of like it. Um, and then I did just do the bun. Ignore the bun is crooked. It took me 20 minutes to do it. And I'm not going to take it out and redo it just because it's crooked. So let's just pretend it's supposed to be like that. I'm leaving right now to go get my nails done. Um, but first, I'm picking up a coffee because your girl is thirsty and she need her coffee. Can I get a medium iced coffee with four cream and 10 sugar? How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. I'm home now. I'm gonna show you guys better of my nail, better, better. They're just white. And then I did go to the store. I needed just to get um, my body wash and my face wash. So first, quick, I don't think I've ever showed you guys Mossy's little setup. You guys have seen that her bed and all of her treats and stuff are over there, which is her normal. But we did lay a big, huge blanket down so that way she's got all of this space to be able to lay down and walk around because she is supposed to be locked up in a crate for four weeks. But for one, we don't have a crate. And for two, she hates staying in one spot. Because, like, if you guys seen in our past videos and our pictures, she's here or she's over there or she's, like, right here. So, we laid the blanket down because we didn't want anything to get on our, our carpet. So, we have the big blanket and then we just have her bed that's always in her blanket that's always been over there. Her toys are over there. And this plate actually is with what her hard food goes on because we didn't want to put it in a bowl. And she's looking at it like I'm weird. But it is empty. I have to put more on it because she just ate it and this bowl right here is her wet food that she gets in the morning when she takes her pills and then over here is her bowl of water which I need to change um and then over here is just normal how it's always been it's her bucket of like stuff and extra treats and then that bucket has her treats in it and then up here on my dresser is her bag full of all of her medication and then underneath it is her folder that way everything is together but yeah so this is mossy's little setup um it's at the end of her bed like it's always been she's right here doing great you say hi she's getting excited huh i also just wanted to show you guys an ootd and i just have a yellow t-shirt on from Ardeen, my white bandeau from Air Pastel, from the outlets actually, and then my jeans from American Eagle, my gray boots are from Payless. Um, Ethan actually got me this necklace. Um, it says my name on it, it says Curse, so you guys can't see who it happens. So I have that on, and then I have my white scrunchie on. But yeah, this is my LOTD. So Ethan has his hair appointment at five. It's almost three right now. Okay, so this is like my second time recording this. The first time was way too long, so I'm gonna redo it and let's hope it's shorter this time. 
Ethan's in the kitchen getting food, so that's what you hear. It's new background. I'm in my living room. I thought the fireplace would be cute. I did just want to do the little update on Mossy. Um, since the last time I posted an update on her was when everything happened. So we went to the vet three times since then. At Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will insert all of the dates because I don't remember them. Monday we went. Um, she's still going every other day to get her bandages changed. They had redid her bandage and they had cleaned her stomach for us because the skin was really dead and it was like falling off and I wasn't peeling any of that off. So I made them do it. After they were done, they had come in and they had told us that Mossy's leg is healing really, really good. Her blood and all of her tissue is forming over her bone so you can no longer see her bone anymore. Um, I'll insert a picture right here of it. As long as her leg keeps healing this way, that she's not going to need surgery. And then they just said just to keep watch over on her stomach because she does have a wound between her thigh and her stomach um, that isn't closing up, that's still there. So that's what happened on Monday. And then when we went on Wednesday, they had changed her bandages and they had cleaned up her stomach for us, took all the dead skin off. They had told us that her stomach, the wound between her thigh and her stomach was still open and it was still there it's not healing right they said that she may still need surgery on her stomach said that her leg is still healing great her body is healing all by itself um so i'll insert a picture right here of it um they take pictures for us all the time um when they change her wounds you can no longer see the bone the wound is super super small it's getting very small so wednesday they had told us that mossy does not need surgery anymore on her leg told us that we need to watch her stomach her stomach even though her stomach is healing i'm not gonna say it's not because it definitely does look a lot better i'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see it but it definitely does look a lot better but it's not healing as fast and it's not healing the way they want it to like i said the wound between her thigh and her stomach is still open and i'm gonna try and take a picture and insert it but if i don't i'm sorry and then friday they had changed her bandages. They had cleaned up her stomach for us. They weren't able to take a picture yesterday for us just because it was a super, super quick appointment, but her leg is still healing good. Maybe within the next week or two, probably within the next week, it's going to be fully healed, but she will have to keep her cone on until her stomach is fully healed, which will be another couple of weeks. We don't exactly know how long the recovery for that's gonna be just because her wound is still not closing i think it's probably just because when she walks and when she lays down it rubs and it's just not being able to close they still may have to do surgery on her stomach um we don't definitely we don't know a hundred percent on that yet i'm gonna come say hi ethan's over here <laughs> can you show your face if you are following me on Facebook, you will already know this update as I do update every time she goes to a vet appointment, I update um, on everything the doctor has said or everything that she's feeling. I do post pictures of her all the time, um, but if you aren't, here you go. You should definitely follow us on Facebook. They are linked down below because you will definitely get a lot more updates on there. They told us when we were there on Friday, the doctor had told us that she is a little un unstable because her one leg is higher than the other. She said that it's pro possibly because of her wound was so open, the way her ligaments healed. She said that she's not going to worry about it because it doesn't look like it's bothering Mossy. Um, if it was bothering her, they would probably have to possibly still do surgery on it. But because it's not bothering her, they said that we're not even gonna get her even more stressed. We're just gonna leave her how she is and let her leg continue to heal. It definitely worried me at first, but she said that it's not gonna be a big change in her. That's what they said on Friday. So pretty much we were at Mossy's leg is healing. She no longer needs surgery. Mossy's stomach is healing, but she still may possibly need surgery. Her wound is almost for the most part closed it's like 90 between like 80 and 90 percent closed so we're looking at another week to two weeks for her leg to be fully closed but she's doing great she's doing awesome she's behind me her little big cone if you've seen the pictures she's got a thrasher sticker on her cone she might come see you guys oh here she comes no nope. she's laying down she gets very very uncomfortable when she lays down she's leaving me now Ethan's got to take her outside when he's done eating. So that's where we're at with Mossy. She's recovering amazingly. She is doing great.
and she's got so many people who love her. I will continue to keep doing updates on her. Maybe I'll take you guys with us to the vet one time. Because she is only getting her bandages changed and they don't need to examine her, they don't put us in a room. They just, when we walk in, they just take her back and we just wait up in the waiting room. So maybe I'll take you guys with us one time. It is 3.30, I think, or 3. Ethan's got a hair appointment at 5, like I said, so we're just going to chill and hang out and then... I will take you guys with us when we go get his hair done. She's just hanging out next to me. She I got a purple one this time. Yeah. She's trying to climb up the stairs. But I'm not letting her. So she's standing there frozen. You killed. You killed. You got his hair cut. You can't really tell because it's it's still wet because he didn't blow dry it. But he got his hair done. He looked nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, so it is a couple days later. I'm editing this vlog and I completely forgot to end it. So here we are. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below any future videos you can see from us. Hit that big red subscribe button and that bell so you don't ever miss any of our future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next one. Bye!